Hey everybody, welcome back to Kirchberg Mini Farms. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Today on the mini farm, we have something else that is orange. Check it out. We have a Doosan excavator. We rented this for the weekend. We had some work to do. We got to bury some water lines, which we'll show you. But uh, today I'm going to take you around this Doosan excavator show you a little bit about it and uh, kind of tell you about what we're doing here on the farm. Well, there's a hint right there. We're clearing out what we call the cabin area on the farm. This was all overgrown like that. And we've cleaned it out once with the tractor, but uh, there were some stumps and some other things we needed to get moved out of the way. So we pushed a lot of stuff out of the way. I dug up a few stumps. In fact, right there's one of them and uh, move things around so we got more area to work in. And my goal is to clean this up, put a nice deer feeder out here and uh, set up a little hunting shanty back here so that uh, we can hunt some deer. But uh, come along and uh, check out our Doosan Excavator. Many cows, moo, 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 moo. Many cows, moo, 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 moo. Many cows, moo, 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 moo. Many cows, moo. moo. All right, well, here it is, our Doosan excavator. It's a DX42, which I believe they told me stands for a 42 horsepower excavator. This excavator weighs in at a little over 10,000 pounds. Open cab. Now, as you guys know, I'm not a real big fan of open cabs due to allergies, which I've had to take a lot of allergy medicine the last couple days. But, uh, yeah, it's not a bad little machine. I got it with about two hours on it, and uh, I think I got about eight on it now. So uh, she's up here and running. Let's check out the cab here real quick. So here we are. We got the cab. Got our controls, our bucket controls. We have our ignition on off. The cool thing is this does not have a keypad, so you can just jump in, start it, and go. We got our throttle control. On the left-hand side, we got our safety bar mechanism. You drop that, and then you have bucket controls here as well. Now, this, this Doosan does have a third feature on it um, to run the thumb. However, we had a little mishap with the uh, excavator. I was out digging my water lines. As you can see, I have tools right here. And uh, digging the water lines, I'd, I was digging some dirt and I noticed hydraulic fluid leaking down here. So I was like, what is going on? So I got to looking at it. I thought, oh, maybe it's just a loose fitting down here. So right down here, right there, I thought there was a loose fitting. So I went and got my handy dandy wrenches, tightened it up, fired her back up, started working again, and it was still leaking. Couldn't figure out what was going on. Well, it looks like the fitting has a crack in it. And uh, so I was like, crap, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to use this excavator all weekend. This is gonna suck. But then I remembered these things have quick attaches. So let me walk back around. Do some. Really wish it was coyote, but that's okay. It's orange at least. And I remembered they have quick disconnects on them. So right there. So my thumbs connect right here with my quick disconnect. So I thought quickly, just disconnected them, tied them up right here and said, you know what? I can keep using the excavator. So here we are. We can't use a thumb, which really stinks because I've needed the thumb to pick up logs like this. So I've had to get creative picking them up, but, uh, we got this excavator out here working this weekend and uh, I'll show you us digging some water lines. But for now, I'm gonna push a little bit more of this stuff around, clean it up a little bit more, put some final touches on it. And then we're gonna take a ride up to the front of the property and uh, get to work on that water line. So here we are again, the Doosan DX42.
All right. We got the whole dug. Piper and Casey are down there starting to unwind all the water hose or water line. It's going to feed the barn its water. We're going to come up right here inside the barn, feed the barn its main supply of water. But here we go. Piper and Casey got that teamwork going. They're getting that pipe unlaid, unrolled perfectly, getting it down the hole. Then they're going to connect it right over there to the garage. So I'm going to jump down here and help them out. I'll check back in with you when we get this pipe almost done. Are they doing a good job, Mr. Rooster? Supervisor? Our supervisors are above land, even the animal ones. I'm glad we don't have to lift no animals. <laughs> I think the only thing we'd have to lift out. All right, we got the water line buried. We got it back under dirt. We got the dirt covered back up. Did as much as I could with that excavator. We're gonna have to break out the old orange tractor, the Coyote CK3510 this next week and uh, finish grading this out. But we'll get that done this next week. But that's it for today's episode of Kirchberg Mini Farms. I'm a little tired, got all this work done today. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out and it's free. And don't forget, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. But that's it for today's episode of Kirchberg Mini Farms. We played around with the excavator and uh, got some water line buried to the barn so we can get some water out there to the new barn. And uh, we'll be working on some other projects, getting that barn prepped and ready for this, uh, this summer and this fall. So uh, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.